What's up guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan, and um, I did a chemical peel yesterday, uh, that's why my face looks so fucked up. Uh, and that made me remember that I forgot to review this toner for you guys. This is the Pion Canule Essence Toner. Um, I, um, I was, before I start though, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Uh, I'm gonna post videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements, maybe some workout videos. So, um, two or three months ago, I, th I think three months ago, I had the worst contact dermatitis of my life. <laughs> I was over exfoliating my skin, um, I started introducing benzoyl peroxide in my skincare routine, and I was not doing the um, short contact therapy, that's what I'm doing now. But I was just putting the benzoyl peroxide on my face and I would leave it on until the next day. Uh, and that really, really fucked up my skin. I woke up one morning with such a red, irritating, stinging skin. I guess maybe I'll put, put a picture in here so you can see. That was really, really bad. And um, that was pretty scary. <laughs> but I experienced that before, so I was not, it was not a surprise for me. And What's going on outside? There are some crazy people in here. So I started doing my skincare routine, as always, and let me tell you, everything was staining my skin. Every, um, every product that I own, um, I was using, I would use my green tea toner, and my face would sting. I was like, what's going on? Because green tea is supposed to be anti-irritation, anti-inflammation, anti-redness, and it usually is, but my skin was such in a bad condition that uh, even even that didn't help. To kind of like that staining uh, would go away in like a couple of minutes, but still it was not a good sign. And then I would apply my uh, mineral sunscreen that was also staining my skin. I was like, what's going on? Because mineral sunscreen, zinc, zinc oxide is supposed to be soothing, but even that would, was staining my skin. And uh, it was not a good, experience. It was not a great experience. But yeah, I, I pretty much knew I fucked up my skin pretty bad this time. Um, in the evening, I would I washed my face with uh, a normal cleanser. And it was still pretty bad because my skin got even more red because of the cleanser, because of the cleansing. And um, I just looked at all of my products. I was like, I didn't know what, what should I put on my face. Maybe I, I, I thought maybe I should leave it as it is because it was not not so cute. And then I was like, what if I use this Pion Canula? If, if you guys remember, I reviewed this one in my top five toners of 2020 or something like that. And this was on the fifth place just because it doesn't have any scientifically proven ingredient, like really proven by studies or stuff like that and i said this is a good toner but it's not it doesn't have any scientifically proven ingredient and that is why it's on the fifth place it's it's not bad it's just not proven to be good so you know what i mean and i was like let's just try this one because uh, it's it has a very short ingredient list i was pretty sure it's gonna sting my skin but it's pretty it's very hydrating so that's basically what i need and i put this one on my face and I was blown away. It was not stinging at all. It was actually pretty soothing. I felt this comfort feel, comforting feeling, uh, this soothness, this mm, coldness. Is that a word? Yeah, I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Basically, this was the only product out of all of my products that did not sting my skin. And then I thought to myself, maybe it's because during the day my skin healed. So now. It's not because of the toner, it's just my skin is not so irritated, so irritated, so actually nothing would sting it. And then I applied my moisturizer and my skin would start stinging again, so I was like, no, it's actually the toner. This was the only one that helped me with that. Next day, next morning, I layered this like six times on my face. Uh, my I looked like a shiny mess, but it was so comforting and so good for my skin that I, I didn't care. I didn't even apply a sunscreen, I just covered my window and um, I did that the next evening. It was actually pretty hydrating and moisturizing at the same time. When I apply six layers, this, you don't even need a moisturizer. 
So that was the experience for this one, and that's why uh, I did a chemical peel yesterday, and I remember I should I should have reviewed this one a long time ago. Um, yeah, so I guess the review starts right here at the middle of the video. The packaging it's pretty basic. I like that it's not very transparent. It is pretty dark, so it's gonna protect the antioxidant inside. Um, it's pretty convenient. You don't have to do it like this. You just open it up this way and use the product. It has a very, it is runny, but it's based much more thicker than water texture. Such, such a luxurious feeling when you apply this one. It's really, 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 really nice texture. It leaves your skin very hydrated, actually. It's one of the, one of the most hydrating toners. It's not as hydrating as, the, as this one, I think, but it's, it's pretty much very hydrating. And it's that kind of hydration that doesn't disappear completely. It, it lasts a little bit. It is not as long lasting as the Sunjong toner, but it's pretty close, it's pretty close. So I really like that one. Um, it is fragrance and alcohol free. It is, the price for this one, I think it's like 13 or $15 only. It's pretty affordable, I would say, actually. Uh, and you get, you get how much do you get? You actually get 200 milliliters, which is 6.8 fluid ounces. I can't believe this has 180 and this has 200. I mean, how is that possible? <laughs> what? So yeah, apparently you get 200 mils for $15, which is probably the most affordable toners I that I have. I'm not sure. Now I'm gonna talk about the ingredient list. And like I said, my opinion about this one completely shifted after that contact dermatitis episode. I appreciate this one much more after that and I feel kind of bad that I, I put this one on the fifth place. I give this one a fifth place in my top. <laughs> okay, we have a very, very short ingredient list actually. Probably the shortest, one of the shortest I've ever seen. Uh, we have um, Ast Astragalus root extract. This is the star ingredient. I like that. It is such a high amount. We don't have any water in this one. First ingredient is this extract. And it has been shown to be uh, anti-inflammatory. It also has antioxidant properties and it has a tonic and skin reinforcing property. So it's, uh, it's a pretty nice ingredient. However, it is not proven by science to be effective. And well, I don't really believe in that. <laughs> I don't believe that after, after my experience with this one, I really like it. I don't care if it's not proven by science. Uh, after that, we have 1,2-hexanidial, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, which is um, a humectant, an emollient, it's gonna help with uh, the texture of the product. We have butylene glycol, which is again a great humectant and a good penetration enhancer. And we need this, so the product goes into your skin. Then we have a silicone, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name, should I? B-spec 80, 18 methyl ether, whatever. It is a silicone. Uh, it's gonna moisturize the skin a little bit. It is a, in a pretty low amount, so it's not gonna form an occlusive barrier or something like that. But still, it's gonna moisturize your skin a little bit. Um, it's gonna offer this very silky texture. That's probably what gives this product that such a luxurious feeling. And as far as I know, it helps with tackiness so so product it's not tacky that's almost it after that we just have arginine arginine i don't know how to pronounce that which is an amino acid and it's gonna help with um the hydration of the skin and uh, it's probably gonna speed up the um, healing of the skin a little bit but it is the last ingredient so it's not gonna um, it's gonna be a pretty low amount but basically that's it that's why i'm saying this has a very very short ingredient list and probably thanks to that, my skin didn't stink because it's very simple, it doesn't have any problematic ingredients. And uh, when a product has such, such a short ingredient list, there's much less chance for you to develop um, an, a, a sensitivity to a certain ingredient. So that helps. When, you, when your skin is irritated, just try to choose very, very short ingredient lists. Um, no irritants, no alcohol, no fragrance, nothing like that. And of course, no chemical exfoliants. Those are good ingredients, but they're not 
you should definitely avoid those when your skin is irritated. Any glycolic acid, salicylic acid, even lactic acid, even though it's gentle, don't, don't use those. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Pion Kanyu Essence Toner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments below what was your experience with this toner. Now, I don't use it as much. I'm just using it sometimes in the evening when I feel like I need more hydration. And of course, if my skin is irritated, I would actually couple these two. And it's great, it's really great. It offers a lot of hydration, soothness, soothness, soothing effect. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but I use this, the Sun Jong Morning and Night, the Pium Canule, I don't use it that often, but still it's one of my favorite toners. And um, yeah, that is it guys. Leave some questions in the comments below. My, I may address those in future videos or answer to those in the comments below. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.